What's up, y'all? I'm Alan Hain, the Lawn Care Nut. Thanks for coming back for yet another week. So I've just gotten back from my trip to Utah. That's why I'm laying in my grass here. I missed it that much. I just had to come spend a little time. But either way, that means it needs a mow. Now today is Monday, September, hold on. Now today is Monday, September 16th. I just got back yesterday, which was Sunday, the day before today, that was September 15th. But I wanna go ahead and take you back now because the last two videos, I kinda of showed you some of the trip. You know, we've been kinda of doing a long vlog, vlog, vlog action here. And I wanna go ahead and finish that up. So we're gonna pick up where we left off and this is the afternoon of the meetup. And then that leads into Saturday. When I got to spend some more time with John, Ryan, and Connor. And then also when I got to mow Connor's lawn. Now I'm not gonna share too much of the footage of Connor's lawn because I want him to do that. I don't want to make the exact same video that he's gonna make. I'd rather you go watch it from his perspective and see how things went for the day. But I can tell you we had a lot of fun and it was the first time I ever used a real mower as well as the first time I actually ever used a riding lawn mower and it happened to be a riding real mower. So let's go check out all that footage now. And if you haven't come and talk to me yet, I wanna meet every single one of you. So before you all leave, please at least come up and talk to me because I, I love the, the viewers of the reason that we do this. For me, I just want to make videos and I just want to mow the lawn. I mean, the making the videos is, wasn't ever really something that I wanted to do or something that I had ever envisioned happening. I just wanted to mow the lawn and then I made a video and then another one and another one and it just kind of happened, which is just crazy, but you know, it's weird it's really really surreal to have all these people come for us so Okay, I'm gonna pause the video right here. Now, if you guys remember the very beginning of this video where you saw me that I was kind of out of breath from the mountain air, well, a lot of you commented, it's really tough to go from sea level where I live in Florida all the way up to Connor lives at 5,000 feet, I believe. And then the peaks of these mountains we were going up to were around 11. And so the day before when we went up the Snowbird, I noted a very mild light headache that was just ongoing and wouldn't go away. And it got worse and worse and worse to the point where I had to actually lay down and take a nap. So when you watch the rest of this video, this was me waking up with my headache still there, not quite as bad because I was back down from 11,000 to 5,000 feet and I was trying to recover. So I sound a little bit off here and that's why. So I'm pretty sure most of you will recognize this lawn behind me. I'm here at the home of my friend Connor Ward. He's been showing me around the sites and taking me out, showing me some of the beautiful areas here up in Bear Lake where he lives. So anyway, I'm not really sure exactly what we got on tap, but I definitely am gonna learn how to use a real mower. So here's the deal. I have never used a real mower besides a manual one, but I've never actually used a powered real mower, whether a walk behind or a ride on or whatever kind of real mower there is, I've never used it. So that is really what I'm looking forward to is getting out and enjoying the mow. I know many of you have wanted to see more of this work here. Connor doesn't like showing it off for some reason. It's incredible, let me tell you.
So it's definitely different. Yeah. The the mower literally glides across the surface. It's a different experience. It's isn't not it? like well, so like when I mow my St. Augustine, the wheels of the mower are down in there, the blade is engaged down in there, just kind of grinding. Yeah. And you can feel that when you when you compare it to this, which is more just kind of you know what I mean? Kind of floating a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So thanks for watching that guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Now what I got to do here again, this is Monday the 16th here is I need to go ahead and mow because this lawn here, the St. Augustine grass hasn't been mowed in over a week. It's not overgrown, but it's also not perfect. Probably should have been mowed a day or two earlier. So it's going to need it. But the big thing is if you guys remember from the very first video in the series, my zoysia is heavily overgrown. Okay. So here it is. Let me just give you an idea of how overgrown this is. Look. I mean, I could literally cover my feet with it. So I don't remember the exact time this was cut last, but it should have been cut the day before I left like the rest of the lawn. But as you'll remember, a thunderstorm was coming in, so I had to stop. So if you ever wanted to see an overgrown mow of zoysia grass, 